memo's gone out by Superintendent Dr. Lamar Gorey describing what uh, is called paid COVID leave for employees who have had the vaccine and who get COVID. They get special leave, it looks like. Is that what this is? And others who are not vaccin- not vaccinated and get COVID have to take their own sick leave. Is there a distinction? The distinction is that there, we lost uh, the federal COVID leave back at the end of 2020. And many districts just left it as that. Uh, Caddo didn't. They actually had, they had some COVID leave uh, last uh, in the spring semester, uh, we're going into this. So let me kind of explain that you you every employee at the site base already get get twelve sick days, and uh, they also get extended sick leave. We we, we described that before at sixty five percent of your pay. Mm-hmm. So there, those are those are things that are in statute and in parish policy that you're going to get. So what he's asking that that's kind of what I'll call your dime. And what he's saying is, if you uh, have, get the vaccination, and we know that we we don't have over fifty percent of our teachers and staff vaccinated, if you get if you get the vaccination and you get a bleed through, which we are seeing some of that, that he is incentivizing, you know, by saying that um, you will get district COVID leave. There's no there's no federal anymore. And this doesn't and come off. This won't come off of your own sick leave. It's additional. Yes, it's additional sick leave. So it's an added benefit for people who've gotten the vaccine, essentially, right? That's exact. That's exactly what it is. It's, it's kind of like that's your dime and that's his dime. So what you think about that as the union boss, where somebody's getting something and somebody's not? Well, it's not. I, we look at it rules and policies and laws. It's not discrimination. I've been asked that many, many times. It's not discrimination. You're not being. And when you're talking about somebody, that it's within your wheelhouse to be able to do this. He's not taking anything away from you. So you are we for countless years we've all, we've always had these sick days. You know, if he was taking away your sick days and said, "Well, you didn't take the the, the COVID vaccination, so I'm not going to even let you use your own sick leave," that would be discrimination. Uh, but but to, to have a value added is not discrimination, and we just call it just like it is. It's not discrimination. So giving some <laughs> employees something that others don't get is not discriminatory. Well, they're not getting, in, in, that, in this case, they're not, because it's an added value. It's no different than the, the what the National Football, Football League has, has put out there to try to incentivize to get the vaccination. Remember, this is a superintendent. It's over a school system with a lot of vulnerable boys and girls. That we get to March, it'll be two years of altered reality that they have lost uh, going into a classroom with a stagnant environment where they can't change classes that teachers have to come to them not being able to break for lunch you know uh, a lot of the enrichments that they have that they've lost this is just a superintendent trying to, to incentivize a way to get to bring normalcy back to our boys and girls so miss jackie when when you have a situation that you just described where where half of your teachers have not been vaccinated and you explain to them what you just explained to me do they buy that some do some don't but again, my role is not, you know, I'm not a provocateur. You know, I'm not an influencer. I'm a person that stands on rules and policies and laws. And I explain it just like it is. Now, and, and when you ask me, you come to me and say, I'd like to bring an action. I, you know, our obligation as the union is to say, there's, there's none there for you. And, you know, it, it, that, does that mean you don't have choices? Clearly you do have choices. You know, you, can, you, you the main thing you have, your political capital that you have, is your service. If you choose not to come to the classroom because you feel so impacted by that, you have a choice not to do that. And you, I, I'm going to respect you for it. Jackie, what, what, are the, what are they saying? What are the teachers that are not getting vaccinated saying about why they're not getting it? And what's the demographic? And I really couldn't speak to that because, you know, typically uh, the ones that are saying, questioning it are those that are not vaccinated, quite frankly. And, you know, they have, a, there is as many fingers and toes as you have. I, those are the things that I hear why people are not. But the, but the CDC and the EEOC are really very clear on that. You know, that an employer has the expectation you're going to come to work and you and they want you to come to work healthy. You know, and so the EEOC will tell you there's only two reasons that you can say, and, and, and the superintendent has not done this. So let me just go back and say, you know, there is no federal mandate. There is no state mandate that you have to get this shot. That You know, if you have a religious reason or a health reason why you can't, you certainly can provide that. 
you know, so you're seeing more and more employers go to that, you know, and especially the, in the medical profession. So I think it's just really, in his case, it's very, very soft. It's very subtle, but it, it is just a, a, a superintendent trying to encourage the staff to go back and get vaccinated so we can have school for boys and girls. That's what I see. Mm-hmm. Now, I just don't, I don't get into the argument. All I do is provide the facts, what the EEOC says, what the CDC says, and where the superintendent is within that realm. Miss Jackie, I, I have no idea what the rules are pertaining to to Caddo Parish Schools as an employer. What does Caddo Parish Schools as an employer of all these people get to know about their health mm-hmm. records and whether or not they've been vaccinated? Well, a vaccination is not a HIPAA. That's not considered a HIPAA. You know, the HIPAA would be, you know, me telling you, you know, looking at my medical chart and knowing what, you know, what I went to the doctor for. You know, that, that's that's a HIPAA violation. Me getting a shot is no different than you providing a shot record to go to work or for your child to go to school. That's not HIPAA. 